You know, I come from an R&D and product development background. So one of the fun things for us is looking for different things we can build. Seeing where somebody has a problem and saying, can we fix it? So the sample application was, we had a client who uh, they were pulling a sample and when they were venting the pressure off of a propane line, they left the vent valve open and they left the vent valve open to the flare header and they left the propane truck attached. So they allowed all the propane in the propane truck to go to the flare header over a few days. So on the bottom right over there, see a valve with a spring on it. It's just like this one. And what it becomes is an automated return valve. So turn it, you wanna make it vent, hold it open, let it go, shuts off automatically. We'll do those on two-way valves and three-way valves and we put these all through sample systems now so that we can ensure if we want this valve to be in a specific position, a specific uh, orientation for most of the times and only be actuated when someone's holding it, it allows us to control that. <clears throat> we'll look at other products that you see up there. We've got a, the one that looks like a manifold up there is a, a probe that's going to sample and return to the same process, double block and bleeds on both sides. Um, I talked about solvent flushing and cleaning sample cells automatically. So we have a solvent flush tank down there um, that we'll use in applications where we want to keep uh, systems clean, where we want to back flush filters. We do a lot of things to try to make sure we do this right. Computational fluid dynamics modeling, 3D printing a prototype. So you see the one up there is printed in plastic because we want to see do all these parts go together. Um, we're bringing out a line of sample probes in the near future. Uh, just going to show one of them sort of here is a, a rendering of a sample probe that's going to go in the process. And we've got three NASI components on there. So we can do a probe that has integrated regulator, an isolation valve, coalescing filter and regulator on it, all built into a, a, a probe that becomes customizable. Um, we can change which components are on there. So we're always looking for opportunities where there's a problem and we can design and engineer a solution. Another product that we've come out with is that, you know, people, spot sampling and grab sampling is one of the most common methods that we use to determine what's going on in a process. We go out and where people go out and pull a manual sample, whether it's at a refinery, whether it's at a gas plant, whether it's on a pipeline, they go out and they pull a manual sample and they send that sample to the lab for analysis. And when we talk to people at the labs, they said the two biggest problems we have are either the person who pulled the sample didn't know how to pull a sample properly. And so if it's a volatile liquid like, um, propane or a condensate and they let bubbles escape, they get a bad sample. Or if it's butane blended crude, they get a bad sample. If they don't pull at the right speed, if they don't allow systems to purge for long enough, all of these things can lead to getting a bad sample. So labs are one of the big issues they have is people don't pull samples properly. And the second issue that they have is that people don't write down the right the appropriate data. What time was it when I pulled the sample? Where did I pull the sample from? What day was it? What process was I on? And so one of the things that we've done for a number of our customers is to automate those systems. So on the one that we're showing here, um, we have four floating piston cylinders that would be used for high vapor pressure samples. And you can see we've got a whole pile of valves, solenoid valves on one side, controlling pneumatic valves on the other side and we completely control that whole fill cycle. How long does it take to fill? How, do we, how and when do we actuate it? And we run that all from a PLC so that we get all those date, time, date and time stamp records, pressures, measurements, we know exactly where the sample's from. We can actually barcode each of the samples from the, from the, the PLC and the interface there, and it allows us to get around a lot of those problems that are commonly associated with pulling manual samples. The other thing it does is there's um, health and safety implications of this too. And we talked to clients who said, well, my guy was pulling a propane sample and he forgot to close this valve as he was pulling the sample. You got liquid propane on him and things like that. So we can 
now automate that whole process so someone just has to go out and pick up the samples. So it makes it we don't have to do as much operator training as well. The other thing is we often want to get sampled during a plant upset. But during a plant upset, everybody is busy trying to deal with the upset. and Nobody can get out there to pull a sample. So in here, we just trigger the PLC, tell it we want a sample right now. We've done these for floating piston cylinders like I just showed. The ones over here are what we refer to as glycol displacement cylinders. Again, they can be used for high volatility product, uh, um, products like butanes and pentanes. Um, big thing is no operator intervention, repeatable and reliable. The sample gets pulled exactly the same way every time. It's safer for operators. The PLC pulls in all of that chain of custody information. So it makes the samples that we get more useful to be submitted for lab analysis. So they came to us and said, look, we're, we want these composite samplers that meet a bunch of Canadian requirements like CRN and CSA, but are completely customizable as well for different applications. And so um, we designed these liquid composite samplers. So when you look at one of these, you'll, you'll typically see a large accumulator vessel like the one that you see over there, that slowly gets filled over a period of time. It might be days, weeks, even a month in certain applications. And what it does is it provides a composite or an average sample of the fluid that's been flowing by. So what we do is we go on a pipeline, for example, and say, well, for every 50 barrels that goes by, let's put a milliliter into that accumulator vessel and fill it up over the space of a month. We have another client who loads propane onto ships to go to Japan and says, well, as I load my ship, it takes me about three and a half days to load my ship. I want to fill this vessel up over the three and a half days. And the average that is built up in that vessel represents the average of what got put onto that ship. 